Hi everyone, it's Ashley with Going Crochet and today we are doing things a little bit different. As you can see, I am in a new spot to film my intro. I am obsessed with tofu turtles, if you've probably seen, and today my plan of action is going to be how many turtles can I make in a 24 hour period? So that means I am going to start my turtles tomorrow. Um, so I'm not doing any tonight. They're all gonna be uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And I have a bunch of colors I just picked out for my turtles. And they are all going to be in parfait chunky, unless I change it up a little bit tomorrow. But I've picked all my parfait chunky colors out. Um, and I have ideas of what I'm gonna do with all of those combinations, all those colors. My Roomba. Hi Roomba. Nope, time to go back to bed. <laughs> so I'm going to have all kinds of different tofus. Um, so I know if she has like lots of mods and I've seen a lot of people putting up like different mods and stuff. So I want to do a little bit of that as well. Um, I have, I think nine different options that I am planning to make tomorrow out of just the colors I have in through here. Um, so a wide array of color, as you can see, my cabinet has like all kinds of empty spaces in here, which this was like completely packed before I filled it up just now. Um, so that is going to be my plan of action. So I'm going to start in the morning and I will keep you guys updated on how many I'm getting done throughout the day and everything. Um, and I am going live tomorrow too. So my theme for my live is going to be how many tofu turtles can I make during my live, which I had one live already. And let's just say I did not get much crocheting done. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Um, I met a lot of awesome people that I got to make connections with, but um, not a lot of crocheting. But I'm gonna write down the pattern this time instead of just trying to remember it on the spot. And that will help with productivity during my life. Um, <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and go do my workout. I'm in my workout clothes. And then I will see you guys all in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is now officially Wednesday, which means I am going to start my challenge of how many tofu turtles I can make within the 24 hours. And before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys, I had to make this guy um, as a pattern test for my friend Stacy over at Stacy Makes. Uh, she is putting this pattern out as a free Instagram pattern. So I am sure that is up and out now. If you are interested in making it, it she, her Instagram is apple tree down slash Stacy makes, I believe. Uh, so go ahead and check out this pattern is super cute. I did it in sweet snuggles light this morning. Last night I did it in parfait chunky. And so now that that is out of the way, I can get started with my turtles. It is officially 9.04 a.m. And so I have a few hours um, ahead of me scheduled for just turtle making. My son is going to a rec program for about an hour and a half. So that will give me an hour and a half time to be able to just crank out some turtles. So let's do it. Okay, so it is officially noon time. I got some fuzz on me. <laughs> um, and I have officially finished four of my turtles. But first, let's show off the fuzz on my dress because you're not working unless you have fuzz um, on you when you're working with your chenille yarn, right? So I started off with this little watermelon turtle and I liked him so much I made another one. Um, and then I started making some little characters. 
Um, so I made this guy and I made this guy and I'm gonna make an orange one and a red one after I pick up my kiddo but I'm gonna go grab some lunch or get it ready for when he gets home he come I pick him up in 15 minutes so I have to go get his lunch ready for when he gets home and then I have to go pick him up and we'll eat lunch together so I probably won't get any turtles made again for like another hour before I start another turtle so yeah that's the update so I should be inside crocheting turtles because that's my challenge for today but instead I am outside pulling needs from my driveway because it looks awful uh, so this is my little break from crochet because I have been crocheting a lot today and I want to give my hands a rest so I'm just over here pulling some weeds. It already looks 100% better. And this is all the weeds I pulled up. All right, weeds have been pulled up. I did pull up some more since I last showed you. And then we went around the block with the dogs um, for a little walk. And it's super hot and humid outside right now. So we came inside and we're chilling out on the couch for a while. And I made the red one. The orange one. A little blueberry. And a daisy. And we've just been kind of chilling out on the couch. Getting some nice cool air filtering in. And now I have to go and make supper and fold some laundry. Um, does anyone else feel like food is one of the things that just, it, obviously it never ends, you have to eat. And I have to plan two, at least two meals a day every day and it just gets so monotonous and such a chore. Um, does anyone else feel that way ever? And then laundry on top of that is never ending as well and just daily chores and cleaning and just keeping up with maintenance and not even getting any like deep cleaning in just doing maintenance work Ugh. I just I don't like it um but it's something you have to do I guess um so I'm gonna go do that and then maybe get a couple more turtles in before I go live tonight good morning everyone so yesterday I didn't get anything done after my last check-in I had started to get a daisy turtle done, um, but I did not end up finishing it before my live because I was doing things with my son. So I ended up finishing it on my live. So here is my second daisy turtle. And then on the live, I was asked to make this color shell with this color body on the live and i started to make it and i accidentally made the shell in the color in of the body color instead i was crocheting it on and i was talking and i got distracted and before i knew it i had a shell before i had a body and i was just like oh whoops so i ended up finishing this guy on live last night and I am working on this guy this morning. I just have to close up his body and tack up his head. Technically hasn't been 24 full hours yet because it is only 7.40 in the morning. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out to see, I'm going to time myself and see how long it actually takes me to make a full tofu turtle because I've had been asked so many times how long it takes me to make tofu in the first place and now that I have the pattern memorized and I have so many of them already created and so I know um, what to do I am going to time it myself and see how long it actually takes me to make tofu and it's so funny because last night when I was making a full tofu, um, I mean, I was probably making tofu for over an hour because I was looking at the chat and talking and getting distracted easily. And so it took me forever to make my single tofu. Um, 
but when I sit down and concentrate, it doesn't take too long. I woke up at seven and it's 7.40 right now and I'm already done this tofu. So I am thinking that it's gonna take me about 30 minutes is what I've been telling people it takes me. So I am actually going to sit down and put a timer on and truly, truly test that um, theory out to see how long my tofu takes me. So I'm gonna go do that and then I will come back on and let you guys know how long tofu actually does take me. See you in a little bit. One had done and that took me six minutes and 38 seconds. So the shell took me six minutes and 19 seconds. I do not have the last row of the shell on yet just because I am gonna make this one into a flower. So that's gonna add a little bit of a detail that is a little bit fancier than the standard tofu turtle. So now I'm gonna move on to the body part. I got the body done in eight minutes and 23 seconds. And now I am going to fill him or I'm going to stuff him and I'm going to close him up. So sewing the body and stuffing him actually ended up taking me two minutes and 19 seconds, which I thought was kind of long. And then I added the petals, um, which is longer than what it would be if I had just done a basic single crochet around. And that took me four minutes and 19 seconds. So this turtle took me 27 minutes and 18 seconds to make. And um, I think that is pretty quick and good. Of course, I have done multiple turtles, so that makes a difference on um, getting it done quicker because I know the pattern by heart now. And, uh, but yeah, it's a good, but it's a good pattern to make. Um, if you want something quick for a market, you can make a bunch okay, of them. Okay guys, so my time is obviously up now. I finished that last turtle about, um, like 10 minutes before my 24 hours was up. So I am done making turtles. So now it's time to fill out this basket full of my turtles. So you guys can see how many I ended up making. So I started off with my watermelon turtles and I made two of these guys. And then let's stick with the fruit for now. And I'm gonna go into my blueberry turtle. And then after that, I went into the little Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles, my intention for these are going to be for my nephew for Christmas um, because he loves Ninja Turtles and so I thought these would be cute. So I have one, two, three, four. There's five, six, and seven. And then after I did the Ninja Turtles, I did the Daisy Turtles. So I have eight. And I finished this daisy on my live for nine. And then I ended up making this guy by accident for 10 on my live. And so I had to make up for him after this morning, I made him and that's 11. And then I finished off my time with my sunflower turtle, which makes 12 turtles in 24 hours. So I think that is pretty darn good, um, 12 turtles and each turtle took about 30 minutes a piece, except for the ones I did on live, those took like an hour each. <laughs> but uh, there we go, I have my 12 turtles and that was a fun little challenge. I still have a ton of different options I wanna make. I still wanna make like a candy corn turtle and a pumpkin pie turtle and a bee turtle and all kinds of different modifications for turtles. So make sure to keep an eye out on my Instagram to see what other um, combination of turtles I come out with. And cause I usually post um, on there if I'm doing any kind of pictures or reels of what I've made. Uh, so keep an eye on those to see what else I come up with for my tofu turtle. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it and put a sunflower on for a comment to let me know you got all the way through here. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you on my channel so that you can see 
uh, when I am posting. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 a.m. and I have started to do lives every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye and see you guys next time.